obviously a big win for you guys. I mean, standings-wise and confidence-wise, uh, you guys just seem to be picking up steam. Is that kind of your feeling out there as well? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just figuring out the ice and, and playing well, so yeah, it feels good. Did you, did, were you aware of their record going onto the ice, knowing how important that potentially could be towards the end of the week, or is it is something you just put out of your mind? Yeah, not thinking about too much about that now. It's uh, a lot of games left to be played, and you're just trying to kind of do your own thing and play as well as you can. We're, uh, we like the ice today. It's The rocks have calmed down just a little bit. There's still tons of curl, but it seems like it's ideal for shot making now. So, You guys have both been obviously in championship runs uh, as a round robin goes on. You, you know better than to start looking at the end result and the end goal. Having said that, considering what's at stake here, is it do you have to make a conscious effort not to think about the end goal? Yeah, I think uh, we've all played in, we've both played in events that uh, the end result is very important to us, but uh, obviously not thinking about that. And um, at the trials with our four-person team in here, it's definitely a big focus not to not to focus on that. Right. Uh, fatigue factor. <laughs> let's talk. Let's focus on the fatigue factor. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, we've talked about it a little bit before, but how would you compare, you know, the fatigue factor in terms of comparing this to four-player curling? in that I, I suspect the mental part of it is so much more prevalent because you're doing a lot more thinking out there, I suspect, than you normally would on both of your teams. Yeah, there's so many angles during the course of a game and you're always uh, trying to you know, leave them to your team's advantage and not, not give them a shot to get rid of a few of yours. So from that standpoint, it's a lot of thinking going on and um, there's not quite as much downtime here as you usually would get. So um, you gotta really turn the brain off when you get a chance and uh, we've been doing a good job of that so far. <laughs> trying to focus on not focusing too much <laughs> off the ice. Good rebound for you guys. Uh, I, I, I suspect uh, at an event like this, you don't want to pile up losses. Two losses in a row is never a great thing. So it was important to come back after the loss this morning. Yeah, absolutely. It was huge. And I, I think we had a good little debrief about what happened in the game earlier. And I think it was just uh, a couple of missed shots and maybe not picking up a little bit on, on some of the ice. But I thought we did a lot better job of that this afternoon. Yeah, the work that's done between games kind of gets overlooked, but uh, there's a perfect example that you guys put that time to good use. Yeah, for sure. You know, we, uh, I guess we treated it a lot like we would with our normal team and, you know, talk about the ice, talk about the rocks, talk about maybe the tendencies of the misses from the first game, because there was a few of those. But, uh, you know, I thought we corrected that very well tonight. You know, when we talk about the tight scheduling here, uh, it's no secret that there's not a lot of time between games, but in some ways, being able to put the lessons into immediate use uh, is not a terrible thing. Yeah, it, I mean, you kind of deal with it either way, right? But uh, here with the tight timelines, I think you just, you have to park it. You have to park whatever happened in the previous game, just take the lessons and, and move on. There's really no time to dwell. Uh, I think you're only halfway through the round robin. It seems like an eternity already, but uh, lots of work still to do. But you got to be feeling good about uh, what you've got accomplished so far. Yeah, you know we accomplished our goal so far. We wanted to get three and one through the first first day in a bit here, so we're uh, we're doing well. Uh, but we still got some real tough games ahead of us, so we can't uh, can't let our foot off the gas pedal very much. We got to keep going. Well, that's a pretty solid uh, couple games today. Uh, yesterday's must seem long forgotten by now. Yeah, you know, like, yesterday was like our first day uh, actually having a chance to play together. We practiced a bit, but um, yeah, we've kind of corrected a few things. Yesterday we weren't far off of making a lot of good shots, but uh, we were just on the wrong side of the inch yesterday. But uh, today we had uh, we had some fun out there. I, I slept, I actually missed my alarm this morning and slept till like 7 o'clock. She called me and maybe that's the winning key. Just got to get a little extra sleep on those ADM draws. So. Would you recommend that technique? Um, probably not. It worked for us. It worked for us today, but maybe we'll try something new tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I go back to this morning's game, and uh, I was on the CBC broadcast, and I heard you guys talking after the second end, and you said something. You know, we've been heavy on just about every shot. That's unacceptable. We got to fix this, and it didn't seem like you missed a draw the rest of the game. I mean, it's since that second end on this morning, you guys just seem to just focus and buckle down on draw weight. Yeah, it's really the key like in mixed doubles. I think you got to have top house weight. And uh, if you're watching shots, like both teams this morning, like I said, we both teams got back eight weight in their back pocket right now. And that's, <laughs> that's a key, that's a bad a bad formula, you know. But uh, yeah, we made some great shots the last half of that game this morning. And then carried it into this one. We stayed, we came out right after uh, Mike and Don that game. And uh, I think it was we were having fun, lots of laughs. Like Mike made, I think, seven or eight perfect runbacks. And I was just like, just, I know you're going to make it. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just uh, and we were just chuckling after he did make it. So that yeah, was it was a fun game. 
Well, I was going to ask you about that, just the importance of the confidence coming off that game this morning and how it played out in this game. It was pretty obvious you guys uh, looked a lot looser. Yeah, you know, we, we were um, really comfortable and nice today and uh, we we're just gelling really well together and uh, kind of figuring out how we play best together and I think we found it. So Never, uh, never a dull moment with mixed doubles there. Jen, can you talk about that last shot and how important it was uh, just to place it where you did there? Yeah, there's always lots of rock and play, so you know you're going to have to make a good one and uh, Mark swept it perfectly. We, I mean, we were in a little bit of trouble, but uh, I didn't have my best game, so it was nice to make my last shot. What did you think of the ice today? It looked like that there were a few times where you were going for the draw and it might have uh, swung a little bit more than what you guys were anticipating. Yeah, I think it's been the same all ice week. You know, ice is great. Uh, you know, there's we're anticipating the curl and there's lots out there, which is great to see. Uh, sometimes you don't get it exactly how you want, but, uh, you know, that's the mixed doubles. It's a little bit different call in line. So, uh, I mean, you, you do with what you have to. Uh, the Tucks here gave a, gave you guys a heck of a game. It always seemed like that no matter what, they were always, you get a deuce, they'd respond with a deuce. Uh, what do you say about that resiliency and how important it is to have that in your own game as well? Well, it's huge. It's definitely the key to success. And um, I, you know, we never got down on each other. Like I said, I struggled a bit. Mark uh, played great, made some big shots for us early to keep us in there. And um, we kind of found a way to win that game. You guys have had now had a couple days now to get used to playing with each other. How have you found that uh, communication has improved over that time in the in the short time that you guys have had here? It's getting better. I mean, we you know we had a good chat after our games yesterday, and you know talked about some things we need to improve upon. And I think any good team does that. Talks, you know, how how are we going to get better going through the week and uh, build on you know hopefully when we get to the playoffs. Do you guys take a look at those standings now or at the playoffs, or you just kind of go forward and hope for the best or continue on the path that you guys are? Definitely not yet. It's way too early. There's a thousand games in this event, so uh, we're just trying to get better with each game and um, trying to find ways to make as many shots as we can and hopefully find a way into the playoffs.